Nancy G. Tanji, and we've got a new show for you. Uh, picking up from our show yesterday, we are talking about the top stories for 2015. And yesterday, we ended with July. Kaya pag-usapan naman natin the top stories that are relevant to our Filipino-American community for August of 2015. Take it away, Annie Nepomuceno. In an 8-4 to four vote on August 18, the Philippine Supreme Court granted Senator Juan Ponce Enriles' plea to post bail with his plunder trial over his alleged involvement in the 10 billion peso priority development assistant fund or the PIDAF also known as the pork barrel scam and really is accused of plunder for allegedly pocketing 172 million pesos in commissions in the PIDAF scam he was under hospital arrest at the Philippine National Police General Hospital since July 2014 before his appeal was granted the high court cited humanitarian reasons for granting the 91 year old senator his temporary liberty Okay, so um, uh, there seems to be justice in the world, <laughs> right? I mean, yes. you know, he was convicted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People yeah. for a long, long time said no. And Rile is untouchable, mm -hmm. you know? But yes. look what happened. I mean, even Senator Bong Revilla mm -hmm. uh -huh. is in jail. And granted, these people do get special privileges. Sa, sa jail, but the fact is they have been convicted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buti naman nakarating tayo sa mga ganyan kasi maraming nagsasabi na ang corruption talaga ang nakakahinder sa atin na minsan mahirap alisin sa kultura natin na tanggap natin, we let it pass because we feel na wala tayong magagawa on our own. Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? Yes. So hopefully nga kasi dahil tayo merong mga fresh blood, bagong pag-iisip. That's right. And Allison, uh, <laughs> Allison, um, Alison Escobar is here. Um, she is joining us for the Filipino American perspective, uh, working with Asian Journal. Uh, I know that, you know, things that happen in the Philippines, how much does the Filipino American here care about what happens there? It kind of is, you know, like if we feel like it affects us, I feel like a lot of our generation is thinking that we shouldn't really care. But in reality, we really should be aware of the things that are going on, especially with our own culture, with our own families that are still there in the Philippines, mm -hmm. just so that we know, you know, that everything is okay and that our, like, we're just more aware of the world because the same thing that we think it's important of our issues here in the United States, our generation should care about the things that are going on in the world as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. So stay informed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to this great news item. Uh, mm -hmm. I was so proud when I heard this. Andy? Yes, it was a historic occasion for the Phil M and Asian Pacific Islander communities when Joel Jacinto, Executive Director of the Search to Involve Filipino Americans, or SIPA, was confirmed the new Los Angeles Board of Public Works Commissioner last August 11. Jacinto's appointment makes him only a handful of Asian Americans who have served in such a capacity. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti said that he selected Jacinto as Commissioner because of the difference he has made in his community and to help organize the API community so it can have the muscle inside City Hall to get things done. Garrett also said that Jacinto has an infectious way of bringing people together and a belief in pushing his community and the larger community forward. With his appointment, Jacinto took a two-year leave of absence as executive director of SIPA, but will remain involved in the organization. And I personally can vouch mm -hmm. for Joel Jacinto. Mm -hmm. He is an amazing community leader. Uh -huh. And the fact that he is now Commissioner Jacinto yeah. is really, really big news for our community because mm -hmm. yun nga, uh, he is representing the needs and the desires mm -hmm. of the Phil Ams in government here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yes, saludo kami sa iyo, uh, Joel Jacinto. Ayan. All right, so pag-usapan naman natin the highlights that happened in September of 2015. Yes, Pope Francis made a historic and whirlwind visit to the United States in September. He started with Washington, D.C., where he was welcomed to the White House by President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. He also celebrated a mass at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception and the University Mall at the Catholic University of America, where he canonized blessed Junipero Serra, a Spanish-born Franciscan friar known for starting nine Spanish missions in California in 
in the 1700s. In New York, he delivered an address before the United Nations General Assembly before proceeding to the 9-11 memorial site where nearly 3,000 were killed by terrorist attacks in September of 2001. While there, the pontiff prayed at the site, met with local representatives of the world religions inside Foundation Hall at the 9-11 Memorial Museum for a multi-religious meeting for the for peace. The Pope included uh, concluded his U.S. visit in Philadelphia. That's right. And I remember watching this on TV, mm -hmm. watching his speech to everybody. Uh, so touching. Please make sure if you haven't seen uh, his address, you go to um, online to check mm -hmm. that out. Okay, magbabalik kami here on Kababayan Today. Kasama pa rin natin si Allison at si Annie Nepomuceno. We'll be right back.